My story is a love story. The story of my husband, Fred, and I. We were married for 40 years. We were very lucky to be together that long. We had a wonderful time together. We did a lot of traveling. And on one of those wonderful trips where everything went perfectly, we came home and Fred had started coughing. Um, and after we did some investigations, it turned out it wasn't something simple. It was in fact lung cancer. It took about a year of treatments and remission before Fred decided that he'd had enough. And that was the right decision for him. He had become quite um, frail and incapacitated. And that wasn't how he wanted to live. So when he died in October of 2017, my heart was in a million pieces. And that's how it is when you spend most of your life with someone that you love. It's a blessing, but it's also a time where you realize you're not just grieving the person who has died, but you're grieving the person you used to be, the person you were with that person, the way you looked in their eyes and the way you felt about them. I knew when, I, when Fred died that I was going to be embarking on a new phase in my life, a time without him physically with me. But because we were so close, I knew he had never really left me, that he was going to be with me, guiding me and helping me make decisions for this new phase of my life. It wasn't a phase I wanted or that I had asked for, but since it was coming and it was actually here, I knew that I needed to rely on his help and the life that we had had together to help me move forward with this new life. Understanding that I was grieving him, but I was also grieving the person I used to be and that I was going to become someone different. Still his wife, still very much in love with him, but on my own, with him beside me in more of a spiritual way, 